guys. Um, so today I want to show you how to create a jQuery tagging feature. If you have a website or a blog that sorts of filters on categories or keywords, then you may find this video helpful. Um, today we're going to be using some HTML, some jQuery, some CSS, and a little bit of uh, PHP. All right, so since a lot of the coding is going to be in HTML, I'm going to start the front end first. And if you've seen any of my previous videos, you'll notice that I'm a big jQuery fan, so that's what I'm going to be using. I'm not jQuery, but Bootstrap fan, so that's what I'm going to be using today. Take some of this stuff out. Alright, so I'll just copy this down. And let's start with let's kind of create a, uh, a tagging template per se. So I'm gonna get a div class here. I'm gonna call this div, I mean tag. I'm gonna call it tags or tag tags. Tags container. I'm going to style this on the as I go. Solid. Of so say 450. Um, that doesn't look right yet, so let's add in some some mock tags. So call this, let's call this no PHP. HTML and we we'll call this CSS. Add some IDs, which I'll explain later on. They'll be needed later. You'll see. Okay. Fresh. Okay, so basically, it's tag container. It's supposed to simulate like a, a text area box, but it's not a text area box. So it's kind of a, it's a little trick there. Um, add some more style to the tags. Color, um, maybe corn silk. No, let's try cornflower blue. <laughs> um, and see what it looks like so far. All right, maybe add some padding to it. No, better it large. Let's play around with this a little bit. So we're at the top five, right, I mean, top right, bottom left. Let's see. 
minus some of this. So I want to see if I can get this closer together. All right, so maybe add some really around maybe some padding around it. Let's just start with five again. Fresh, boom. Top and bottom. Display. Do a display inline block. Okay, and it's looking pretty awesome there. That's how I want my tags to look. We could close that in a little bit more. So what do we say three. I don't want to get caught up on the styling because. To build a functionality in there. Okay, so now this next part is gonna look kind of weird, but you'll see how it works. Because remember, we have to be able to add tags in here. So what we want to do is put an input box next to this tag. So it's an input. So this we'll call this add tags. All right, that's where we wanted at, but it's pretty wide. So let's put that in there. Just put that here. All right. More style. And what we say with just set this to fifty. Guess that now let's just change the sixty a little bit. Please work ahead. Tag. Okay, so you see which way we're going with, uh, with I mean, where we're taking it. Now, what I'm going to do is set this border to zero. Just to hide the fact that there's an input box there. See what I'm saying? It's kind of an illusion. So I can just say, say, pizza. But now what I want to do is when I hit the space bar, I want to append that tag to this list. So let's run some jQuery. Make sure we're working. Okay, so we add a tag and hit base bar. What are we doing here? So key down. This event. And then it's like event key code. Um, I'll tell you what. Let's write this out to the console log. Totally spelled that all messed up. 
see what I'm trying to do is keep this under 15 minutes, and I'm at 10 minutes now, so I'm trying, I'm trying to prevent this from having to split of this video. Okay, so we need to run that inspector. Um, okay, hit refresh. Okay. Oh, you can't see because it's way at the bottom. All right, so if I change this, can you see it now? I'm not sure how I can break it out. <laughs> Booyah. Alright, so this is gonna be funny. So when I Alright, so what I'm gonna do is hit the space bar. Try to hit the space bar. That's not right, so let's go back. Key code. Isn't that... Wait a minute, I know it one because... Capital letter, was it? Um, space. Ugh. All right, so I think I had the K as capital and it need to be lower K. So space bar is 32, so just remember that. So we can just say if space bar equals 32, let's do a test real quick. Now, fresh, and when we hit the, hit, when we hit the space bar, we should see the dialog box pop up. All right, cool. Let's move it along. Okay, so what we want to do now is that's not right. Tag. We want to get the, the value out of that hidden yeah again let's run another test spacebar pizza cool beans Okay, so let's take this HTML. Let's call this tag HTML. wrap this up in another span. Probably could use order list, but call that container. Call this. Can't call it tags. I should call this tags. I got, I got too many tags going on. All right, going back, calling it, I'm gonna call it tags wrapper.
I want an append. All right, so the, you probably see which way we're taking this now, right? Let's see where we're going. All right, so let's say pizza again. You know what? I should just say JS. No, I'm going to say Java. Spacebar. Okay, so clear this out. Just do this, right? Hi guys, so the video is a little longer than 30 minutes. I don't like to go past 15, so I'm going to split this into two parts and I'll be uploading the second part shortly. Okay, thank you, bye.